Hello, my name is Marianne Clark, and I'm a postdoctoral research fellow in the Vitalities Lab at UNSW Sydney. In this presentation, I'll talk about digital photo diaries as a social research method and as part of the methods that I'm using in a project I'm currently working on. Digital photo diaries provide a useful addition to a methodological toolbox as they provide a visual approach to examining everyday social phenomena that captures rich insights and details about people's experiences as they happen. Digital photo diaries allow participants to document and capture thoughts and feelings on their own time as they arise or as they are prompted in certain moments. And these moments may not always be recalled or remembered in an interview situation. This approach also shifts the focus from language and text and accommodates and emphasizes the visual, nonverbal, and effective dimensions of our experience. By examining the photos participants share, we can also recognize the many human and non-human actors that shape meaning and experience, and that might not always come up in an interview or in participant observations, for example. In this presentation, I'll share how I am using digital photo diaries alongside other qualitative approaches as part of a digital ethnographic project. My project is called Movement and Meaning During COVID-19, Australians' Physical Activity Practices and Uses of Space and Place. I'm particularly interested in understanding how people are engaging with space, place, and technologies to create or refine new movement practices and what these practices mean to them in these extraordinary times. To collect data, I'm conducting video interviews over Zoom, and these interviews involve a virtual tool, tour of the physical activity space or spaces people are using. So far, this has included home spaces such as the living room, bedrooms, garages, outdoor spaces such as apartment building rooftops and courtyards, and spaces further away from the home such as walking trails or the beach. And people share these spaces with me via their phones while we are on our Zoom call. Video interviews are, of course, feasible given the social distancing conditions of the COVID crisis, but they also allow me to see and ask about specific features of the space, such as the presence of technologies, equipment, or other people, or even pets, that might not come up over a phone interview, for example. After the interview portion, participants are then invited to participate in a digital photo diary as a way to further explore some of the ideas we touch on in the interviews and to allow for further insights into the various spaces and places people are using for activity. Digital photo diaries provide a way to capture the human and non-human bodies that play a role in these exercise practices, as well as capture the embodied affective and, and emotional dimensions of the experience that might not necessarily emerge during an interview. Using visuals, such as the digital photos, along with text, such as the stories that people are invited to tell about the photos, is one way to acknowledge and make space for these other important dimensions of experience. In this study, I'm drawing from new materialist theoretical perspectives that acknowledge the way that meaning is material and discursively produced, with an emphasis on the materiality of meaning-making processes. These perspectives are in no way homogeneous, but they generally acknowledge the agentic capacities of non-human forces and are concerned with the specific relationalities that emerge through the coming together of the material, discursive, and effective. These perspectives allow me to attend to the effective and, and embodied dimensions of physical activity within the specific social and material conditions of COVID-19, as well as pay attention to the fine details of everyday mundane objects such as technologies and outdoor spaces that actively shape experience and meaning and through which the COVID exercise assemblage emerges. After obtaining ethics approval, participants are invited to participate in the video interview. And after that, they're invited to keep a digital photo diary over seven to 10 days for a minimum of five entries. Participants receive a daily email with a link to an online diary entry form. This form asks participants to first upload a digital photo related to their physical activity practice. Some prompts are provided to give them some ideas. So this could be a picture of a piece of equipment, uh, perhaps a view from their favorite workout space or something or some space or place that inspires them to be active or a picture of anything or anyone that is connected in some way to their movement practices. The form then asks them to provide information about when and where the photo was taken, 
who and what appears in the photo, and how they felt when they were taking the photo. Finally, participants are asked to share a short story or description that expresses what the photo means to them and its connection to the phenomenon of interest. As I mentioned earlier, participants receive a daily email that I send each day with a link to the diary template form. For my purposes, I used a form created in Qualtrics as it complied with the ethics and um, data storage requirements of my university, but other possibilities I considered were Google Forms, Microsoft Forms, and even mobile apps such as WhatsApp. Basically, I was looking for something that would be user-friendly to both myself and to my participants. This is an example of what my form looks like. I asked for the participant's name, and then I asked them to upload a photo, and then a few subsequent questions asked them to indicate who appears in the photo, when and where the photo was taken, and then a long, uh, a long text box is provided for them to provide a story about the photo. So far, the entry form or the diary template form seems to be user friendly and all my participants have filled out all the required boxes. This is one example of an entry uh, where the person has uploaded their photo and then they have pro they've provided a brief story about what the photo means to them. This is another example where someone has provided a photo of an indoor space as opposed to an outdoor space and provided a slightly longer description of what this photo means to them. Analysis will be guided by the new materialist frameworks that I'm drawing upon, specifically by concepts such as assemblage and effect, and of course will be related to the overarching questions guiding the study. Specifically, Analysis will focus on the human and non-human elements that appear in the photos and the diary entries with particular attention paid to what it is that these entities do. Uh, this involves attending to the affective and emotional dimensions that appear and emerge through people's stories and considering how space, place and objects are both captured and represented by participants expressed in the stories and how they come together to create what I'm calling the exercise during COVID assemblage. The analysis will also examine the generative relationships between movement, embodiment, space, place, objects, effects, um, technologies, and other human and non-human factors. While the project is still in its early phases, and I've only had about five people complete the digital photo diary uh, at this time, it's clear that digital technologies like apps and um, online videos, Instagram, uh, fitness trackers, all of these things, as well as outdoor spaces and places, whether they be aesthetically pleasing places like the beach or walking trails or simply um, pragmatic spaces like a, such as cramped apartment courtyards, um, and also sporting objects. So things like yoga mats, weights, people have even talked about their running shoes and wetsuits. All of these objects um, play a role in affording specific movement opportunities for people that come to mean certain things in this time. And so all of these things emerge as generative forces that actively shape how people experience their bodies and move their bodies during the COVID-19 crisis. Results have also demonstrated how these objects and environments, so these spaces and places, bodies and things are intricately, intricately entangled with each other and also with emotions and affects. Um, and through people's stories so far in their digital photo diaries, the relationships that people have with their own bodies, with physical activity uh, itself, and with other people in their lives, these, these entangled relationships are emerging as really prominent themes that are arising. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the, the specific conditions of COVID-19 have altered these various relationships and understandings of health, which reveals the instability of the meanings and knowledges that we attribute to, to ideas such as health um, or to exercise. A lot of people have talked about the role of exercise and physical activity and movement for their mental health and well-being, um, and it's come to mean different things for them during COVID than it did before. And this also underlines how objects, spaces, places, and bodily movement take on new and specific and multiple meanings in these conditions.
Thank you so much for joining me on this webinar about digital photo diaries as a social research method. I hope it's been useful and um, that you might take some inspiration and, and hot tips to use in your own research. Uh, the next slide has some further reading if you'd like to read a little bit more about digital diaries or digital photo diaries and their variations.